Hey guys, this is Colin and this is Colin Talks Crypto. Uh, a little while ago I released a video of Craig Wright speaking about how he has an exploit he thinks that he can use to take down BTC. And I just first of all want to apologize because I put that clip up. It was one minute long without any kind of information surrounding it. And so it could come off as if I supported his views or something of that nature. So I decided to scrap that video, I removed it, and I'm going to re-upload this video to replace it. So first of all, let's play that video clip with Craig Wright. And this is from The Crypto Show. I want to give full credits to The Crypto Show. They did a great interview with him, and I recommend you watch it. Here's the clip. Uh, we're already mining at a loss, and we will keep mining at a loss. So if you come over, we're just going to make you lose money until you stop. We are going to, no matter how long you take, have SB running, and every time you think you get ahead, we're going to reorg uh, any ABC blocks. Any exchange that does this, we're going to block all their transactions and reorg them, targeted. So if you're an exchange running this, I'm going to make your life living hell. And when I finish with it, I'm going to come back and make your life worse than living hell. <laughs> when, so when you're done with ABC, are you going after Bitcoin? after BTC. Bitcoin core I mean, is that's already a big, dead. That's a big mountain to climb there too. So No, it's not. Bitcoin core is already dead. They just don't know it yet. With the changes from the original Bitcoin and what they've done to add SegWit and whatever else, they don't understand the system well enough and they will learn next year uh, that there is a fatal flaw in BTC. And by fatal, I mean there won't be any BTC at the end of next year. Okay, so as you can see, that's quite an extreme statement. But you know, that's what we've come to expect from Craig Wright, I think. He's known for making very extreme statements. He's known for making threats. He's known for his verbal attacks. And my viewpoint on this is I would take it with a grain of salt. I would wait to see that he can make good on any of his other claims because he seems to be really good at talking but not necessarily backing it up with action. Whether it's a design for a software implementation or an app or a cool idea for something on Bitcoin or taking down the Bitcoin network with an exploit from SegWit. Just to play devil's advocate, if on the converse, his threats were legitimate and he was able to take down BTC with uh, some kind of exploit that he found when the Bitcoin core developers added SegWit and other things to the Bitcoin protocol, that would be ironic because they would have in effect taken themselves down by adding things to BTC. Um, again, I don't have any proof whatsoever that that's the case and neither has Craig Wright shown any proof of that either. It's just all words at this point. But if I was to just quickly off the top of my head think of the ramifications of that kind of an attack, I mean it would be tremendously horrible. It would take down the entire crypto space. It would not just take down Bitcoin, BTC, because everything's pegged to Bitcoin, right? So everything being pegged to Bitcoin, you see how when Bitcoin goes up, all the other coins go up, and when it goes down, all the other coins go down. Well, it would have a similar effect, and it would be a massive reshuffling of wealth. It would be a massive transference of wealth within the crypto space, and maybe it would go to Bitcoin Cash, but it might go to these other coins just as likely. So yeah, it would have huge ramifications if there was such an exploit in Bitcoin BTC. Let's take one step at a time here and see how the hard fork on November 15th comes through. And if Craig Wright keeps all of his words that he's been saying on that, then I might add a little more credibility to his threat on BTC. But until then, I would treat his words with a grain of salt. And let's just continue to watch this and see how it goes. I recommend you watch my other two videos I just made on the subject of the November 15th Bitcoin Cash hard fork. And I think you'll get a much broader view of my opinion on the subject. So that's all I've got. Thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for your comments. And thank you for correcting me because, you know, I'm not perfect. Sometimes I screw up, too. And so I'd like to make things right when that happens. So thanks for watching. Have a great day and talk to you again soon.